Okay, so you just got a quest for Christmas, and you found this game called Gorilla Tag. You've started to try and play it, but you realized that you suck, and you need to get better. Well, I'm here to help you do that very thing. Basically, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do everything that you need to know in Gorilla Tag, from the very basics like walking to the more advanced stuff like wall running and lucio running all right so to start things off when you first get the game you will spawn into a tutorial map and i can't really get into this map because it's it i mean it's gone i'm just gonna have to sort of explain what to do and I'm, I'm gonna put up some clips of other people doing it on screen the first thing that you're gonna learn is how to move what you want to do to move is just get your arms put them onto the ground and like push yourself forward anyways you just want to walk using your hands I guess and once you learn that you're gonna have to learn to get over a wall after blah, 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 blah. you know what I'm not gonna explain all this after you make it up the treacherous wall of random stuff you'll have to figure that out for yourself you'll come to a place like this and you will see the beautiful forest this is where most people play this is a forest map this isn't the only map though oh, and i fell down now the wind is going to be in my ear give me a second i need to restart my game ah! anyways as i was saying you will probably land somewhere around here now the first thing that you're going to want to learn is to walk walking is pretty simple you have these two hands and you use your arms to move around most people will probably make the mistake of jumping up really high when they're walking you don't need to use both hands you can just use one hand at a time as i'm showing right now you can just walk around and you may be pretty slow at first but with time you will learn that you need to push yourself parallel to the surface so like kind of like that to so see how i'm like making big jumps instead of small ones that's pretty cool um yeah, anyways, now I'm going to teach you guys how to funny run. Funny running, it, it, it's funny. <laughs> I mean, well, what can I say except you're welcome. Anyways, funny running. For funny running, basically what you're going to do is just pretend like your your fingers are like mini little legs and you just want to like... Oh, I forgot I had that. Do like a running movement like this. And you just put your hands on the ground and you will end up going super fast. Alright, so the next thing that you're going to want to learn is branching, really. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to get up to the Tree of Doom. Actually, I'm not going to teach you how to do that. That's, that's kind of pointless. Bruh. I am going to teach you guys how to get up these walls of doom. They're really not that bad. So, there's actually two ways, oh, two ways that you can actually get up this wall. Both of them are pretty easy, or at least they seem easy. The first one is to just simply bounce back and forth between the walls as I'm showing. So you're basically kind of making like a downward diagonal movement with each hand. You're not going like side to side because you'll just be doing this and you won't be getting anywhere. But you're kind of going like down into the side. So like a diagonal arm movement. This may take a while because you may end up doing stuff like this and just accidentally falling off. But with practice, you'll get it. And now for the probably more difficult way. It's called pinch climbing. This is actually another mechanic that's very useful to learn. So essentially what pinch climbing is, is you are literally pinching this. Like you can see how my arms go on both sides like this. So basically what you want to do is pinch the surface that you're trying to climb and bring your arms down and also slightly towards you so that you don't fall off and then let go and then pinch it again like this. So you pinch it, push yourself up and kind of towards the wall, let go and then grab it again. This will also take a lot of practice, but once you get it, it's very useful. I'll put on a little like montage of me pinch climbing. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what you're going to want to do. Okay, so the next thing is a little bit more for the advanced people who already have sort of figured out the basics of the game and are just trying to get a little bit better. I'm actually really good at walls, so I'm the perfect person to watch this video on. If you see anybody else, don't listen to them. I'm better than them, no matter who it is. Yes, I'm better than J-Man Curly. I know, it's absolutely wild. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is find the campfire. Look at how crispy this marshmallow looks. Really, really delicious. Anyways, back to what I was, back to what I was saying. You want to find this campfire, and there will be a lamp post right over there. The wall right behind the lamp post, you will see, is like curved. 
This is the wall that you want to use to learn how to do any type of wall. It's the best angle for Lucio running, wall climbing, wall running, literally any. First thing that I'm gonna be teaching you guys is wall climbing. Now wall climbing may seem pretty difficult at first, but I assure you, once you get down the correct movement, it is one of the easiest things you will ever do, and also one of the most useful. The main motion that you wanna learn for wall climbing is basically the same thing as those walls over there. You're going side to side and slightly diagonal diagonally. Imagine you're skiing and you're using those like ski sticks. I don't know what they're called. Don't judge me, I don't go skiing very often. That's essentially the movement you're doing. Also, you can hang on the wall for like a few seconds. So don't stress about trying to get off the other wall. Just kind of push yourself towards the other side of the wall as I am showing you guys right now. The next thing that I'm gonna be teaching you guys is wall running. This is essentially the sequel to wall climbing. Once you get up on the walls, you wanna be able to run around like a cool monkey. As you can see, wall running around, running on the walls like a cool monkey, cause I'm, I'm a cool monkey. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this down here on the ground level because, you know, trying to get the camera positioned all up there is just too much of a hassle. So basically, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna have your arm on this wall and you're literally going to push yourself. Don't push yourself away from the wall like that. You wanna push yourself directly towards this next wall. It's literally like wall climbing with one hand, but in only one direction. So you get to this wall and then push to the next, push to the next. And you can keep doing that. And once you get good at just going sideways, you can add a little bit of upward motion or downward motion and then you'll start climbing the walls and running them at the same time, which is pretty cool. All right, so that'll pretty much be it for the video, but I will give you guys one more bonus tip. This only applies to the Christmas update. Um, basically, if you have this train, I don't know if they'll fix this a year from now, but for right now, what you can do is if you grab onto the train and let go of it really fast, it'll slingshot you into the air like this. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't, that's fine. I don't know, my content isn't for everybody. Please subscribe if you did really like this video because it really helps me out a lot. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2024, so it would really help me out a lot. Ho, 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 I'm Santa Claus, and I've come here to tell you if you don't subscribe to MDG, you'll get coal for Christmas. So, subscribe. <laughs>